Is it silly to get back with the guy who cheated on you with his ex? <laughs> Answer that, Rena. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it silly for you to get... Yeah, it is. It's extremely silly. It's, ex it's silly because... You're, you're inevitably setting yourself up for failure and for a hard time and a life of misery. So if that's what you want, if that's what you're willing to battle with, then you do that. But I don't advise it, do you? Nope. nope. But if you want to do that, then you do that. Next. Okay. What should you do if the guy you were dating sold you a dream? I've been dating a guy for about six months and then later found out that this guy was a lot older than he said he was. Not only did he lie about his age, but also his profession. It's a hard pill for me to swallow um, at first, but, uh, sorry. It was a hard pill for me to swallow at first because I wasn't sure if he had lied about anything else. But after coming clean about these things, I later realised that I was too emotionally invested and had already fallen for his lies. The only problem is now that I don't trust him and I'm struggling with this because of how the relationship has done. What you should know, I do? You know what I'm going to say? Say it with me, Jay. One, two, three. Leave him. Because what's the point of being in a relationship with someone that you don't trust? But Zayna, it's not Good. as... Bye, case closed. Zayna, okay. Now, this is where you have to... This is where we have to actually open up the floor to conversation, right? Think about what she said. So he's come out. He's, he said, look, I haven't been completely honest with you. This is the situation. Yeah. Now, I understand the whole thing about her, that, about the general consensus being, well, if he's lied about that, what else is he mm. hiding? Yeah. But if he has come out of, of, of his own back and said, this is what it is, then you can't necessarily begrudge that person for giving him a chance. Because, look, because, look. because at the end of the day, People do deserve second chances. I understand that, again, that some people may have their reasons. That's not something I would lie about or expect someone else to lie about. But at the same time, someone's come out and said, rather than you find out and be like, bro, your birth certificate says 1982, but you said you were 25. You know what I mean? Like, rather than find out that way, him come out and say, look, this is where it is. And then maybe he gave her an explanation. If, you know, I, I look, lie to me about the fact that you think my cooking is <laughs> Lie to me, it's not. But lie to me about, you know, your favourite colour. Lie to me about your favourite movie. Fine. Do not lie to me about your age and profession. Yeah, that's Don't, You can't lie about those things. Why? Why? Uh, people, have, people have confidence issues. People feel as though, you know, like, by lowering or raising yeah, their age, you then might to, stand to a better build chance. A true, but then, but then, but then, <laughs> seemingly, this girl doesn't like, uh, maybe doesn't like his age, but she said, you know, isn't uh, impressed with his age or, or his profession or whatever, or it bothers her. Does it bother her about the lie or does it bother her about the actual job and actual age? We don't know. But the point is... Okay, what she has done... Sorry, I'll let you finish because I can, see, I can see you were thinking. Maybe there's things that just are not attached to his age or his job that they've... They yeah. And they really think. yeah. So it's like, if that remains... So maybe yeah. if she was in love with the fact that he worked in a really nice... A part, um, really nice building or a really nice office, then that mm. obviously but she would fall out of love. She very said quickly. that she finds it hard to trust him. Yeah, because he's lied. But it doesn't take away trust. Can be built back up. It's hard to to regain, but it can be built back up. And I think that I, I don't I don't condone lying under any circumstances. Yeah. But I feel like in the, in these circumstances, if he's come out and been honest and and been real then there is possibility of re reconciliation versus if he had a family. My only problem would be is that I don't know when when he would next lie. That yeah. would always be the thing with me. I get that, to be which fair. I think, and I think that would be the same thing with you. If someone's like, oh, yeah, yeah, she, she, you'd no, always no. be like, you know, oh, well, I don't know if you're telling me the truth I've this had, time or if you're telling I've me that. I've had a woman lie about her job and her age, and she was... Do you know exactly. what I mean? But that's because I found out, not because she came out and told yeah. me. If she came out and told me, I would have been more inclined to, to like sit down and actually talk to her. But yeah, what? I yeah. found out. My yeah. man was on his Inspector Gadget and I had to find out that you were in fact a fraud. Bro, keep it moving. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. I think that's a difficult situation, but to be honest with you, if your relationship with him is worth it, then you know, try find a way to 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 move on. 
if it's not yeah i don't know you, you, yeah you just gotta kind of go with how you feel if you if you are interested in seeing where it progresses then do that and if it's successful then that's good if not then you know where it, the problem stemmed from and use that as a reference point point so yeah cool next one Let's go. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Not too bad. Can't complain. Good, good. Yeah. Mm. You alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> so, um, we've got a question and we want to jump straight in with this one. So, someone has written in to us and they've asked, Why can't I find a good man? Do you want to go first, Sarah? So, do you want me to go first? No, I don't mind. Um, it's hard, I'm not going to lie. You know, being a man myself, I know decent men are very hard to come by nowadays. You know what I mean? I think it's a lot harder for a woman to find a decent man more than the other way around, to be fair. Um, I don't know, I think what you find with... I think what the issue a lot of women have with men is that men ain't completely honest. Jeez. You know what I mean? Oh. I think that's the, and I'm just going by conversations I've had with women in the past. You know what I mean? And that seems to be um, a big thing with them. A lot of men sell them dreams and all that. Why do you think men sell women dreams? Be honest. <laughs> you sure you want me to be honest? No, 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 do it. Well, like, at the end of the day, we all know the answer. Like, no, we don't. Men will say anything to get in the panties. It's that simple. It's that simple. <laughs> You know what I mean? What kind of uh, dreams have you sold women in the past? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I'll be honest, right? Back then, back in the day, I was... Um, I think I was quite honest. I, like, I, I told them, like, I'm just a stopgap. Right? I'm just a stopgap until you find whatever you're looking for. Mm. And then it's down to them mm. if they want to get involved mm. or not get involved. You know what I mean? Mm. At least I was honest. And that's what women want. They just want honesty more than anything, as mm. far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you find that line had a lot of women stop in their trap? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I was quite fortunate. I went on a I had a nice run. I had a nice run. I say that. I had a decent run. I, th I think, yeah. Um, I'm trying to be careful with this one. Because I don't want to piss anyone off, yeah. But I don't, I think there are, there are a lot of good men out there. Yeah. There, there, ha there has to be. I, I personally know I don't know why you're not laughing Yeah, no, like I know personally a lot of good, decent men Who don't cheat, who are honest <coughs> Who raise their children properly But they're, they're in relationships, they're gone But I don't subscribe to this As we know, like from the Men Are Trash video that Zayna and I did I don't subscribe to this whole There are no good men, there are So with a lot of, with a lot of people You find it's like They're not having trouble finding a good man they're f having trouble finding the man they desire, which is different. Because a good man, so a good man might not necessarily have the financial stability that you're looking for. I understand the same, there's no romance without finance, but, you know, uh, or a man might not be as tall as you want. You know what I mean? Women, I have heard say, if you're under six foot, don't speak to me. And then they, the same women who say there's no good men. No, he's just under six foot. Do you know what I mean? Or do you know how many women who say, oh no, he's, I don't like his teeth. There's no good men. Oh, I don't like... Okay, so there's no good men that fit your specific your specification. So again, you've got to 
that statement comes with conditions because there are good men. There are 100% are. Oh, that, that, that goes without saying. <laughs> I don't know why you're looking at the way. You're, you're trying to find someone <coughs> who's got everything, yeah, everything that you want. And it's true, like, you shouldn't, you should want, like, the world. You should want everything. But understand what comes with that. Yeah, I'm not saying that you must lower your standards but or anything like that or settle. I'm not saying that. But you have to figure out what is the most important thing to you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not just there are no... Why well, can't I find a good man? You can't find the man that you desire and is good as well. Do you know what I mean? Because there are loads, man. Like, again, there's the proper thing about men ain't ish, men ain't this, men ain't... And I understand where it comes from. Like, I'm not going to play ignorant and go on, like, I don't understand why women feel the way they do, especially in this today's climate about men. But I'm not hearing this, there's no good men or there's a shortage of good men because that's not true. There are loads. But does do these good men fit your specifications is the real question. Do you know what I mean? So for me, you are you looking? Where are you? What kind of places? To answer the question, what place, kind of places are you looking? What are you looking for? And then you can kind of answer that question yourself. Why well, can't I find a good man? Yeah. Just depends. Okay. Hi guys, thanks for watching the shout. If you like what you heard or you've got something to say, please write in to us and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.